Greetings to you all and welcome to the HE launch uh, episode 15. And I hope everyone is keeping safe during these COVID times. Speaking to you is Sean Amgazi, and I am the one who is going to facilitate this whole session. Before we start off, I would just like to highlight uh, there is a report from the International Labour Organization stating that in, in every 24 hours on a daily basis, one point, an estimate of 1.1 million people are enrolled in a work, workplace uh, accident and uh, 6,000 people on a daily basis also they die because of workplace injuries or workplace illnesses. And if we make an analysis into those statistics and uh, zoom in, we can find out that in every 15 seconds, one, 153 people are involved in a workplace injury or in a workplace accident. And in, in those 15 seconds, one people or one person dies because of workplace injuries or workplace uh, accidents. And uh, those statistics, they are very alarming. And uh, in developing countries or in African countries, those statistics, it is 10 times or 20 times more. And if we factor in uh, COVID-19 into those statistics, they will become more and more drastic. So this is why we took this initiative as H Africa address and build our information synergies amongst ship practitioners all over Africa so that we can promote and build resilient environmental safety and health management systems within our organization across all African countries. So today uh, in our agenda, we are going to do much on COVID-19 and uh, this is how we are going to navigate through the day as we are going to start off with a spotlight entitled the environmental impact of disposable face masks. And for that one, we have a guest presenter that is Mr. Tapona Shichiko. He is going to take us through the, the spotlight. Then we will dive in into the main discussion of the day under the topic managing the COVID-19 infodemic in the workplace. And for that one, we have Miss Elinga Magada. She is going to take us through that uh, that discussion. Then we we'll uh, after, as we uh, will be concluding our main discussion, we are going to launch a poll survey and anonymity is guaranteed on that one. That is to say, uh, whatever answers, whatever responses you are going to give, they will not be tied to your name. It will be an anonymous response. And uh, after the poll survey, after the discussion, we are going to make a few announcements, a few Asian Africa announcements. Then we will conclude by a group photo and we close our session. So at this moment, I'm giving this opportunity to Mr. Tapwana Shichikowe so that, so that he can take us through the spotlight on the, under the title, The Environmental Impact of Disposable Face Masks. Mr. Chikowe, the floor is yours. Thank you. Okay, um, my name is Tapwana Shichikowe and I'm going to be taking you the spotlight for today. The topic of uh, we are about, I'm about to present is the environmental effects on disposable face masks. Uh, for, for you, housekeeping news, I'm going to be giving you the definition of what a disposable face mask, uh, to those who might not know what a disposable face mask is, and then I'll be taking you through a brief history of how this issue became uh, the surge of this dilemma we are facing at the moment of disposable face masks being uh, disposed everywhere and, 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 and not in the right places. Okay, the definition of a disposable face mask is a face mask that can be only worn once and should be properly discarded afterwards. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure these ones are popular here in Zimbabwe. The ones that the guys on the streets are selling, I think they uh, go for 10 bond and they are so cheap that everybody has one, right? Uh, this dilemma of, 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 of uh, the environmental effects surging uh, the, the face masks, uh, it started uh, in the late December 2019 when we had a COVID pandemic that was upon us. Uh, uh, with, the, with the need to protect oneself, uh, people have been wearing uh, face masks uh, in order to prevent themselves from getting the COVID-19 virus right then uh there's a, 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 a an alarming uh, alarming um case study that i saw as i was doing this research a case of hong kong where they 
receive uh, approximately about eight face masks uh, on the shoreline of within a hundred meter span uh, every day, which means people are not properly discarding their face masks. They are just willy nilly just throwing their face masks without uh, properly discarding of them. Then uh, another study was done in, 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 in Asia, uh, which estimated that 2 billion face masks were being disposed uh, within the time, time, time frame that uh, that uh, case study was taking place. So these are alarming rates that I thought I should uh, I should highlight to you. I should highlight to you uh, regarding this issue of disposing of face mask and the effects it has on the environment. Moving on, the effects of the effects of disposable face masks on the environment. Uh, 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 disposable face masks have one, uh, one effect, uh, they've got a, a few effects, and one of them is uh, environmental burden. Uh, animals uh, tend, uh, animals being animals, you know, uh, they tend to not know what they're doing at times, and they actually consume face masks unknowingly, uh, they t uh, which results in, 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 in animals being choked or, and eventually dying or it might affect the quality of lifestyle for those animals. And uh, in, the, uh, in, the marine life, in the marine ecosystem, uh, tiny small fishes get trapped by the, 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 the face masks and uh, that disturbs also their quality of lifestyle. So that's uh, one of the environmental effects. They're also hazardous to people. Uh, as, the, as, the, as the face mask decomposes, even though it takes a long time, uh, the dyes that are used to make the face masks uh, contain lead, of which lead is toxic. Uh, it it it's then, is then introduced into the ecosystem. It is very toxic, and uh, as time goes on, when, when we eat our plants, we find that uh, some of them have got a higher concentration of lead, which can be toxic in small doses to us. It is also a biohazard. The, the, the disposing of, of, of Face masks willy nilly is biohazardous to us. We use, uh, COVID 19 has an incubation period on plastics and other polymers of, of about seven day incubation period, which, uh, if I want to take the initiative to clean up the environment around me and I, I, I pick up that COVID face mask, I don't know the next, if the next person had COVID or not. So, uh, by so doing, uh, I'm 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 I'm, I'm uh, putting myself at risk and uh, of getting COVID because uh, once I, I pick up that face mask and I uh, then breathe the air surrounding that face mask or get it on my hands and therefore I am exposing myself to the virus that the first person had. So in order to abate the virus, it's actually lead disposing of, of face masks is actually leading to. Uh, biohazardous situation whereby it actually spreads the virus instead of uh, cleaning up the environment by instead of not contracting the environment using the face mask i end up getting the face mask when i dispose it improperly and it's also uh, 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 causes uh, disposing of face masks wrongly causes uh, water, land and water pollution and it's an iso uh, it's an ISO to everyone who's around me, and it's an ISO to each and every person that is is uh, in the environment. Moving on, we can see. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see the screen. It's uh, it's just a picture of you a monkey over there eating the face mask. You know. So what I was saying before, uh, animals tend to not to think as we do humans. It's actually eating the face mask and. Uh, it might actually kill the animal or it might actually distort the quality of the lifestyle of the animal. And the fish over there, it's actually entrapped by one of the face masks. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. So yes, those are some of the effects on the environment that I was uh, referring to earlier. Moving on. Uh, how do we curb the environmental effects of disposing face masks in the environment? Uh, I, I, I am sure that we've been told that face masks are good, face masks should be worn all the time, but we haven't been taught of the ways to properly dispose of these face masks. So this is what I'm going to be teaching you today. 
I hope it helps somebody out there. And let's take the initiative uh, uh, to actually teach others uh, in the environments that we are residing uh, on properly disposing of the face masks. So number one, recycle. Dispose appropriately in disposable bins to deter littering. I'm sure we have disposable bins uh, around where we should properly dispose of the face masks so that they can be recycled and be introduced back into the environment. But um, yes, even though I am saying recycle, uh, my, my main agenda is uh, to tell you that uh, let us stray away from using the disposable face mask and let's use reusable face masks instead. Refuse, refuse disposable face masks and use re 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 reusable ones instead. Uh, that's uh, basically what I'm, 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 I'm imparting to you. Let us use a reusable face mask where we can hand wash or we can machine wash in order to, 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 to not to, to have a, a greater impact on the environment. Uh, reuse, like I was saying before, machine wash you, reusable mask and avoid disposables. Remind, let us remind our colleagues uh, to consider their actions and the ripple effects they have on the environment. Let us constantly talk about this issue for it is cutting edge in the environment that we are in within uh, these COVID times. Let us, the next point, educate on proper use and disposal in disposal of face masks. Let us educate each other on how to, to use the face mask and how to dispose of them because we are being taught to wear face masks, but we are not being taught on how to dispose of them properly. The next uh, point I'm going to be touching on is cultivate a pro-environment behavior, usually in the younger generation. Let us uh, alert the younger generation of the effects that our actions have on the environment at a tender age. Uh, as for me, uh, I, I, I grew up not in the COVID era. Uh, when I grew up, I was, uh, it wasn't COVID, it actually started now. So let us teach our youngsters that to properly dispose of, of these face masks. We don't know when this pandemic will end. So it is uh, pivotal that we take a role as youths and as adults to teach the next generation how to, 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 to dispose properly of, of, of the face masks. Moving on, uh, limit environmental effects. Limiting environmental effects starts with you. Make the right choice. Literally, uh, this is an in-house joke uh, saying that let us use reusable, uh, reusable face masks. Let us use a reusable face mask instead of, uh, of, 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 of disposable ones. It's just an encouragement to people so that they choose a reusable face mask rather than using disposable ones. Even though disposable ones seem to be cheaper and seem to be readily available, let's make the effort Let's have a pro, uh, a pro approach to the environment whereby we deter from using disposable face masks. Then uh, moving on uh, and concluding my, my, my presentation, um, I would just like to say that uh, uh, one day I'm going to be a parent and I would want my children to live in a, in a, in a, in a litter-free environment. And it would hurt for me to, to actually, um, to actually uh, leave, uh, to raise my children in a litter, in a litter field environment. So I'm uh, advising each and every one of us to, if, if you forget everything that I've said to now, I want you to remember the four others, which is reuse, reduce, recycle, and remind. Saving or taking care of the environment around us starts with the individual effort in the quest to ultimately end the war on the effects of disposable masks on the environment. Curtsy is contagious. Let's start an epidemic. Thank you very much. Um, any questions, comments, uh, discussions, or anyone who would like to add on to my presentation, uh, I think you're free to do so. Uh, I would leave this time to the facilitator, Tichawana. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jigowe, for that insightful presentation. Yes, uh, we are living in COVID times, 
and like I highlighted, this co uh, co the COVID crisis has brought uh, about uh, so many issues and uh, the issue of uh, of disposable face masks on the environment uh, is a concerned opportunity to present it to you. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Goway, for the presentation. And I would like to give opportunity to our audience for any contribution, questions, or comments on the subject of our uh, disposable face masks. There's a roundup to hygiene in terms of masks. Um, so there's a there's a contribution from. Uh, uh, Michelle Moyo saying a uh, great presentation. However, my question is, did you consider other similar virus outbreaks such as the SARS virus in 2003 and the MERS virus uh, in terms of how the situation was uh, concerning wearing of masks? Uh, anyone to, to take on the question on the efficacy of the cloth mask and um, the surgical one? Okay, uh, uh, answering the question on the efficacy of the cloth mask versus the surgical mask. Okay, uh, there's a, an, a, a couple of experiments that were done by scientists. I'm not sure uh, if it was China or, or Germany, I'm not sure on the, on the destination of these experiments, whether they were scientific or not. Uh, there was a 99% a percent, um, uh, percent uh, uh, rate of 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 of, of uh, impeding the COVID nineteen to attack you whilst you're wearing a medical mask and the three layer cotton mask, which are the ones that I'm saying uh, you should uh, actually navigate to because they are reusable. Uh, it had the, the the three layer cotton mask had an eight to six percent material filtration efficiency, which means that um, these two uh, and, 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 and when the test ran, there was proven to be no significant difference uh, within these two face masks. However, there is a difference and we cannot uh, shy away from that fact. Uh, so my, 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 my takeaway from this is uh, let us uh, 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 try not to use the surgical, let, let us not try to use the disposable masks uh, as such and where we can avoid, let us, uh, 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 draw towards the, the reusable ones instead. So that uh, was my finding, and I don't know if it helps somebody or it answers your question. Uh, uh, is it Michael? Is it? Yeah. He did a very fantastic presentation on the disposal of uh, these face masks. What I was asking was what was the situation like in terms of uh, disposal in the eras of SARS and the MERS virus. I think the, there's, there's a gap there in terms of, of the research. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the question. Did he consider that, that time period? Thank you very much, Michael Moyo, uh, for the question. But uh, I'm fortunately in this presentation, I did not go as far as the SARS uh, the, and the mayor's virus uh, that went back in 2003. I think we might have uh, to have a reunion, a reunion presentation, uh, actually tackling the, the question, but thank you very much. Uh, great question indeed. Uh, once I get the, the final details, I think I'll put up another presentation or uh, I'll put up another uh, follow-up presentation in order to thoroughly address your issues. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Tapiwana um, Shea, for the response. Does anybody have a contribution or towards this presentation? Okay, Ranarai Madindi. Yes, um, from when the pandemic started, and you can tell the, you can agree with me that the surgical masks were quite expensive, uh, but the prices have gone down. Uh, significantly or maybe alarmingly for a box of 50. Uh, one comment that I bumped into in the streets was uh, whether the, the pharmacies or the shops which had access to these in the beginning ripped us off money or it is now the 
quality that has been greatly reduced of the surgical masks. Just as a point for discussion, um, maybe we could talk about how you can tell that these are genuinely, these masks that I've bought or that I'm about to buy can genuinely protect me or at least decrease my chance of getting COVID. You don't want to be wearing a mask that, are, that actually does not help you because you bought it cheaply. So maybe if someone has is, 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 um, had such an experience, can, can be able to assist. Hi, good morning, team. This is Nora from South Africa. Um, if I hear you correctly, I think with the it's the quality of the mask doesn't actually depend on the pricing. I think the quality is is either the mask is a one ply, two ply, or a three ply. So what we are encouraging from our side is that people must have a three ply face mask on irrespective of the quality. So what we've, we've been encouraging our employees and in a workplace is that if you can't afford to buy it, you can always do it yourself. I mean, we've got old clothes that you can always cut into pieces and try to get um, quality of the mask that we're looking for. Thank you. Uh, okay, thank you for, for the platform. Uh, uh, the, the question uh, raised was uh, the, the quality of the masks, right? I think uh, as the COVID started, we, we, we found out that the quality of the masks was much better than the ones that are being sold today. Uh, today, everybody is making masks and, uh, and, 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 and that is actually impeding on the quality of, the, of our masks. So is there, uh, is there a, a way in which uh, we can educate people on, on the three-ply mask and the one-ply masks? Because uh, if you ask somebody who doesn't know, they look similar. You don't know which one is a one-ply, you don't know which one is a two-ply, you don't know which one is a three-ply. We just buy a mask for the sake of buying a mask because it's cheap and because it's available. So if there was a way in which we can educate uh, on, on which one is the three ply, which one is the two ply, which one is the one ply. I think that way we can actually, uh, we can actually improve the, the, the usability of the mask and we can actually deter from buying the cheaper ones uh, that will uh, jeopardize our health or, and, and buy the, the actually the more expensive one, but it will do good to our health in the long run. I think that's all I have to, to add from uh, what Ranga asked. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you, Mr. Tapiwa, for that presentation. And I guess everyone has learned uh, a lot of things on this uh, issue of face masks. And the ultimate uh, point that was highlighted, highlighted they to educate everyone in our networks, everyone around us on how on the proper ways of uh, of disposing the dispos disposable face mask. However, everyone should use the reusable face mask instead of the disposable one. That was the main point there. Thank you, Mr. Tapuanashi.